united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation of Life Christian Broadcasting Television. And now, United with Christ. Welcome to United with Christ. I am Pastor Judy Russell from LifeGate Church, and I have with me um, Miss Pastor Helene Bird, also from LifeGate Church, and Jamie Northrup, also from LifeGate Church. And we're so excited to be with you today, and we have a really interesting program, and uh, we believe that it's going to be a real blessing for you. Um, it was a blessing for us. We just experienced a, 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 some time with the Lord this weekend, and we, we, we had a book that we uh, kind of had a study that we did with it, and uh, we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But first, I want to I want to read a scripture that will be kind of the basis for what we're going to be talking about today in 1 Corinthians 15, 46. 1 Corinthians is in the 15, 46. In the Passion Translation, it says this, However, the spiritual didn't come first. The natural precedes the spiritual. And in the New King James Version, it says it this way, However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural and after the spiritual. So we're going to talk about today how first the natural, then the spiritual. How do we see the spiritual in the natural? How do we, how do we glean what God is trying to say to us? And, and uh, we don't want to miss anything that God is, is showing us. So that's what we're going to do. But let's start out with prayer. Father God, we just thank you so much for loving us. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you teach us all things. We thank you that you bring us a spirit of revelation and, and of knowledge and we th and understanding. We thank you for that, Lord. Yes, Lord. I thank you for this time together, Lord, with, with these ladies. And we thank you for this yes, TV station, God. We pray, yes, God, that Father. you would multiply their resources. God, yes, bless them yes, tremendously Lord. because yes, of their their generosity in giving this time. And we thank yes, you, Father Jesus. God. I thank you for those who are listening now and will be listening later. Yes, Father, I thank you that you are going to speak to their hearts, that this will change their lives. There'll be information, it'll be transformation for them. And we yes, just give Lord. you all the honor and the glory yes, in Father. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Well, uh, first of all, I want to talk about this book. It is called God's Prophetic Symbolism in Everyday Life. Now, this is part, Helene, you came across this and and uh, you knew we were going to have some time together this weekend, so you suggested that we do this. It's actually Patricia King, who you've heard me mention before in previous programs, um, is a minister. She's a prophet uh, over in Arizona. She's stationed in Arizona. She has Extreme Prophetic is the name of her ministry. But she she has a school now, an online school, and she has different people who teach in it. But I am so confident in her integrity and her foundation in the Word that um, I, I, I have confidence in the people that she has teaching. Mm -hmm. And so these two men, Adam Thompson and Adrian Beale, they're both from Australia, which they have a really neat accent. Yes. <laughs> but we got to watch their video. But it's based on this book. And um, again, it's God's prophetic symbolism in everyday life. I think you can get this on Amazon. Is that right? Yes, you, you can. Just go to Amazon and, and put that in. Uh, because what it is, it actually talks about and helps us see from the scriptures how we can see that there may be more to what's going on than what we just see, what they yes. say what, that the naked eye, just what we see in the natural. And then it also has a good portion of the book is what they call a metaphor dictionary, which um, takes, takes different things and different even words and numbers and symbols and gives gives the definition, gives what they might represent, and it's all based on Scripture. Every single one of them yes. have Scripture that go with them, and that's what I like about it. So it is a very valuable tool, and uh, Helene provided us with them. I was really grateful for that. Yes. And I'm just like, yes. I love it. So um, what we want to talk about today is we want to cover a little bit more about the prophetic because uh, what I want to do is demystify the prophetic because it's been it's been used wrong. It's been, I think people maybe that have not been mature, have not had seasoned, have not been seasoned in the prophetic ministry, have stepped out without, and, and, and been, they've caused chaos and they've caused harm. We even heard yes. about how that can happen yes. when you're immature, you haven't been, you haven't been in it long enough for God to, you know, work out some kinks. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Right. right. And so as a result, many times when we bring harm, it, it causes us to, like they say, throw out the baby with the bathwater. But right now, I believe it is very important 
that we see what is really going on because we are spiritual beings. We can't just look at the natural. That's right, exactly. We are to see more than that. Exactly. We are to see, there's two realms. There's a natural realm and there's a supernatural realm. That's right. Now in the supernatural realm, there's the demonic and the angelic. There's That's the good right. and the bad. All That's of that, right. that operates outside of the natural realm. Mm -hmm. But we have to, we can't just back away from it. We have to know because it's so important. Exactly. And because Jesus paid a high price for us to be able to live there. That's right. Um, so, um, I want us to, first of all, uh, read Isaiah 9. Helene, you've got that, 9, verses 6, six through 7, because um, when we become Christians, we're given access to all that pertains to the kingdom of God. That's right. So I want you to read about the kingdom right there. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Okay, let me stop you there. Unto who? Unto us. Unto who? Us. 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 Unto all of us, us the child was born. That's unto right. us the son was given. Go yes. ahead. And the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Okay, there will be no end. So he is, he carries the government of this kingdom on his shoulders yes. and it will be no end but it says that we are that he's given that's given unto us yes and we have access to that kingdom to that government to the governing part of that we have access to that position of authority through the cross yes through right. jesus yes. because yes. that's what he did he came so that we could have access to the kingdom. And yes. I, I'm going to show us that uh, because this was something that they mentioned in this book, which I thought was great because a conquering king, when a, when a king conquers mm -hmm. uh, any territory or another kingdom and, and, and assimilates it into his kingdom, he shares the spoils with his people. That's right. They, they, he shares, it, it, was, he, it was his authority, it was his ability to send the armies, but everybody gets to share in what is the benefits from that kingdom. Yes, that's right. And Jesus is the King of Kings. Amen. And Amen. he has a great kingdom. Yes. Right. And we get to share that. We're going to see that right now in the words. Jamie, you're going to read this out of the Passion Translation. Hallelujah. Let's read first of all Ephesians 1, verse 3. All right. Ephesians 1, 3. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful Heavenly Father. Okay, wait a minute. How many spiritual blessings? I uh, believe it said. Every spiritual, every spiritual blessing. Every spiritual and blessing. And this is past tense. Has already been lavished, lavished. on us. Okay, That's go ahead. given to us already. That's right. As a love gift from our wonderful Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus, all because He sees us wrapped into Christ. This is why we celebrate Him with all our hearts. Hallelujah. Okay, so when we get saved... We become wrapped in Jesus. The Bible right. actually says, "Put on Jesus." Yes. Right. We, 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 we're, we, we're referred to as being in Christ. Yes. Right. And when we're wrapped in Jesus, because of that, our heavenly Father makes available every spiritual blessing. Where? In, in heavenly, heavenly places, places, in the kingdom of That's God. Right. That's right. right? Yes. In right. the kingdom for over which this King of Kings is 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 ruling and governing. Go ahead, Jamie. Right. Read verse twenty. Verse twenty. Let's see. Of same Ephesians 1, verse uh -huh. 20. This is the mighty power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly realm. Hallelujah. Okay, Hallelujah. He, he exalted him to where? Supreme the what? Supreme authority. Authority. So Christ was given, a, he, he's, he's been seated in a place of supreme authority. Right. All right, let's go from, from there to chapter 2 and verse 6 of Ephesians. All right. Ephesians 2, verse 6. He raised us up with Christ the exalted one. Thank you, Lord. And we ascended with him into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm, for we are now co seated as one with Christ. Hallelujah. So, here we see Christ has been given all authority right. because of his conquering victory on the yes. cross. Right. Yes. And we. When we become Christians, when, we, when Jesus is the Lord of our life, we, bit, we are covered in Christ. We're covered in the blood. We, we're in him. Yes. It says we are placed in that same position That's right. of authority. That's right. right. So therefore, we, we operate in that same governing position 
but we operate in it here on earth. That's right. right. All right, let's read, yes. uh, look at chapter 3, verses 10 through 12. All righty. Ephesians 3, 10 through 12. The purpose of this was to unveil before every throne and rank of angelic orders in the heavenly realm God's full and diverse wisdom revealed through the church. This perfectly wise plan was destined from eternal ages and fulfilled completely in our Lord Jesus Christ so that now we have boldness through him and free access as kings before the Father because of our complete confidence in Christ's faithfulness. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hallelujah. yes, yes. In the King James, it says the manifold wisdom of God is made known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenlies. Hallelujah. Yes. What this is saying is the revelation of this kingdom, the revelation of the authority, of the greatness of God, of yes. all that has been made available, yes. is going to be demonstrated in the supernatural realm and revealed in the natural realm by who? By the us. church. By the church. Yes. By, by us. By us. Yes. And that is something that I believe that the body of Christ has not grasped completely. Right. Because what God wants to reveal of himself to, to, the, to the world, he, he will do it through the church. Because mm -hmm. we are now seated in that place of authority. Yes. Go ahead, Elaine. Yes. But he also wants the angels and the demonic to also know to that we have That's that right. authority and that we have that power. That's right. He right. wants them to be made aware that we have the same authority that Jesus has because he has given it to us. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. Why do you think the enemy comes against us and tries to make yes. us believe yes. that we don't? Exactly. That's right. you know, he does not want us to be aware of the, of the authority that we have been given to operate in. That's and, right. uh, you know, he'll tell us, oh, yeah, that's prideful. No, it's not. We can't do anything on our own. That's right. That's right. Jesus That's didn't. Right. Jesus didn't do anything on his own. He. He. he the Bible not. says over and over that he did. He did what he heard. He saw the Father do. He said what he heard the Father That's say. Right. But he didn't hold back. No, he didn't. He didn't go. He, he. But he said, I can't do it on my own. But with them, I have all authority. That's, That's right. right. And then That's he right. tells us, you have all authority because we are seated with him we are covered in jesus we are we are in him that's and right I, I, and from this place this is what we're going to talk about i'm i'm like i love it i, yeah, mean I, I love it you know it doesn't <laughs> mean in fact it doesn't it doesn't mean we're not going to go through some stuff or face some stuff that's right. but it does mean that we have the authority to operate and to govern the kingdom of god here on earth in fact that's our responsibility that's right. and one of the ways that we do that is the prophetic yes. that's right. because the prophetic is simply expressing the heart of God yes. into the natural realm. That's right. And okay. you know, Judy, one of the saddest things I think with the church today is that we have been told, oh, the, the, the prophetic gifts or the whatever gifts have died with the prophets and you don't have those anymore. But this clearly says yes. we do. Yes. We do and we need to be operating in that, like you said, so that we are affecting the world for exactly. Jesus. That's right. Not not to look great ourselves, but so that we can affect the world around us for Him. That's Amen. right. That's we'll right. Glory to His name. So why is it important for us to know what's going on? You know, we have psychics, we have card readers. Why are people so they want to know? They do want to. They want to know, know mm -hmm. what's happening. They know. They want to know. Okay, but what does this mean? Because they know there's. They feel in their in their being that there's more to it than what's really going on. And there is. There is. And, and the, because the church, because we've not stepped forward and right. embraced the, the whole idea that we are prophetic. Right. The Bible says that we're, we're, all, we're all to prophesy. Yes. That's part yes. of having Holy Spirit living in us. That's right. But we are, we are to know the will of God because, and we are to declare the will of God because the Bible says that we are to pray, Thy kingdom come, That's right. Thy right. will be done on That's earth right. as it is in heaven. Again, how is that going to take place? Through, through us. us. Through us. Through us. Through us. If we don't know the will of God, how can we do the will of God? That's right. <clears throat> Pastor, That's right. you know, I believe that, um, that people, um, they want to know, and that's why they seek out um, uh, um, psychics and, and, and card readers, but, but that's not God's plan. God's, God wants his people to declare his truth. And I believe that there is a, that there is a, it's almost as if there's a hole or a space 
within us that only God can feel. Right, absolutely. And, and people go after the, the, the opposite side of God instead of seeking God who has, he knows our purpose. Right. He knows our future. He knows everything about us. That's right. And, you know. and he wants to reveal it to yes, us. He yes, he does. And, That's and, right. and, and uh, you know, uh, I was this morning, God just dropped this thing in me. It's just, just a little little thing that we can, but I think we can grab a hold of it. It's like a little hook we can keep. You know, how do we know the will of God? People go, how do we know the will of God? How can I know the will of God? The will of, the word of God reveals the will of God. That's, That's right. right. The word of God reveals the, the will, will of God. God, God will right. never do anything contrary to his word. That's right. That's but he right. also says that he won't do it without first revealing it to, to his, his prophets. prophets. That's, That's right. right. So, you know, that's because he wants, we, we are partnering with him here on earth yes. because uh, we are to carry out the governing of the kingdom of God here on earth. That's, that's, right. that's what we are to do. That's right. Um, and it's so important because we we have we are we have eyes to see and ears to hear. There's different ways that God talks to us, and I can tell by the way the time is flying by. We're not going to get into all of this today. <laughs> which is, but I want to say this. You know, uh, my heart. I I've, I have felt the heart of God for this program for a while, even before I knew I was going to be here. Mm -hmm. And um, so as we're talking, we have a, about maybe 10 or 12 minutes left. Um, if God reveals something to you, we've been asking the Lord to give us words for people that might be watching, uh, to give us, uh, maybe it might be an answer to a problem that they've had that they just mm -hmm. can't see it. But, you know, many times as we grow in the prophetic, this word even says, as we go, grow in the prophetic, so many times what we see and what we hear will be for us. But as we grow in the prophetic, then God begins to use us to speak into other people's lives. Yes. Uh, one thing, two things about the prophetic. If we do give a, a word to someone, number one, it will either confirm what you've already been feeling, what God's already been speaking, maybe through his word or, or it's just been, you've been hearing it in prayer. Or if it's something that you ha haven't heard before, God will confirm it in His Word. Yes, he, will. he will confirm what He speaks, and uh, that's just a safety net. You know, don't you don't change your life by what someone tells you. Do thus says the Lord. If, if thus says the Lord, then it will be backed up by His Word. Yes. But there are many times. Um, I'm going to give a real quick testimony that the words may not make any sense, mm -hmm. and uh, that my, <laughs> the girls know about this. It's, <laughs> it's the green parrot on the fence post story. <laughs> we were moving from Mississippi to Farmington, New Mexico to pastor a church, and, and uh, we were in Farmington. We'd been there for a little bit. But before we moved, you know, our church was just barely getting into understanding the prophetic. But there was a lady in our church. Her name was Peggy Billups. I loved her. But at the time, I didn't know to appreciate her because she, if God gave her a word, she would just give the word. She wouldn't embellish it. She wouldn't try to make it a little more palatable or, you know, add to it so it didn't seem so weird because sometimes things do, do seem weird. So when we were leaving, she came up and she said, I just have a word from the Lord for you. And we said, okay. She goes, green parrot on the fence post. And of course, we look at each other like, <laughs> right. You know, right. it's just Peggy. <laughs> and so we just, you know, we put it on the back burner because we know that God, you know, says things sometimes and we just don't know exactly what's exactly. going on at the moment. Exactly. Well, later on, it was, uh, it had been, we were in Farmington and I think we'd been there for like maybe a year or so. And, uh, and we were having some, uh, it was difficult. Well, actually, we'd been there a couple of years, I think. And but we, 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 we had some battles going on. You know, sometimes when you just aren't hearing, you feel like things are hitting the brass ceiling mm -hmm. or you really need to know something. You know, we just really needed to know. You know, when battles are after one after another, you're like, God, are we in the right place? Did we make a mistake? You know, are we doing things right? And so we kind of had that prayer on our lips. Mm -hmm. So it was the 4th of July we were sleeping in and my daughter, Christina, comes up and wakes me up and early in the morning she goes, Mom, come and look at this bird. And I said, what are you talking about? Go away. So I said, go away. So she went back upstairs to her bedroom. A few minutes later, she comes up. Yeah, Mom, you got to come look at this bird. We're feeding it crackers. And I said, what? What bird are you talking about? So that got my attention. I thought, if they're feeding something crackers, I better go see what it is. <laughs> so we got up and our house had like a deck that came out and then there, there was another level. And then there was a fence because there was a drainage ditch down there. So I came, at, I came upstairs went to the door, went to look out because it was a glass door, and there sat a green parrot on the fence post. Wow. There you it go. was wow. like, you know, I, I kind of stood there waiting on heaven to open up. <laughs> you know? But I, real, I remembered immediately, I knew God was saying, I know your address, I know where you are, I know what's going on. So much so that he wanted us to know that, that he gave that word to the only person that would probably just give it purely 
Right. Mm -hmm. and, and so that we would know when we had these doubts that that, that that was him. And I was like blown away. There was really not a point to the word itself or to the bird except that it was uh, definitely from him and he mm -hmm. gave it ahead of time mm -hmm. so that when it took place, we actually got the bird and the bird was uh, used by, we found the owners and it was actually used at a blind school in wow. Santa Fe wow. with children. So um, it was just amazing. But you know, that led me to understand and know that it is important. Sometimes we don't see the supernatural. We just exactly. see the natural. Mm -hmm. exactly. But we don't even know to look for anything else in it if, if, if we don't, we're not aware of the fact that God will speak to exactly. us that way. And that's yeah. an example exactly of what we're talking about. That's a right. parrot, a, fin a fence post. Right. Those are things that you see in the natural. In the natural, you know? right. right. That was just, that's amazing. It that's is. An amazing it, story. it was an amazing story. So, but as we go along, um, uh, as we do this and, and finish up, if God gives you, we're going to take about a few minutes at the end for sure, but if God gives you a word for someone, just go ahead and interrupt me and just go ahead and say, you know, I feel like God is saying this to someone okay. or, or, or saying this. And I, and I do believe that God is, is saying this about um, a young woman. I see her and she is at her, um, she's at her kitchen table and she has her hands over her face. She, I see a yellow shirt and the name that God gave me was Carol or Catalina. That was the name that he gave me. And he wanted me to tell her that if she would just put her trust and her faith in him, she will see him do a miracle in her life. God says that we are to cast all of our cares upon him because he cares for us. And he wants you to know that he cares for you. He sees your pain. He Amen. sees your tears. And they are important to you. And everything that concerns you concerns him. So just trust in the Lord and just turn it all over to him and know that he's there to deliver you and bring about the miracle that you need for your life. Amen. 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 That's really good. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Um, also, you know, what, what, what we see isn't always necessarily good we right. may see some things and especially if you look up the symbolism of different things in here and it may be you know we may have a dream i know i've had warning dreams before yes. and um and we know that god does do that because in ezekiel twenty two thirty, it says this this is god he says so i sought for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land see the land was in trouble yes. people were people were had turned their backs on god much like you know, our land today, there was just a lot of yeah. turmoil, a lot of, a lot of just misunderstanding, Jesus. people going their own way. And he says, I sought him for a man among them who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it. But I didn't find anyone. Wow. And you see, I believe that, that God may be speaking to us, but if we don't have antennas up to receive, we don't, we're not aware of the fact that God can speak in symbols and yes. in numbers and yes. in colors yes. and in songs and in words to mm -hmm. songs and all yes. different ways in the net symbolism in everyday life. Yes. If we aren't aware of that, we might miss it. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, God is, he's, he's looking for a people who will, who will partner with him, who will hear his voice mm -hmm. and who will declare his word because as we declare the word of God, uh, we know there's, there's a scripture now, I think it's Psalms, I'm going to find it real quick. Uh, Psalms 103.20, that it talks about, can we read that? Can you look at it real quick? But because, because God, uh, he speaks to us. He may give us a revelation. Again, it would be backed up by the word. Yes. We have the word of God. But we, when, when God speaks to us, we have to declare it. Because in that declaration, because when we declare it, angels will hear it and, yes. and read it read how psalms 103 verse 20 it says bless the lord you his angels who excel in strength who do his word so the angels actually do the word of god exactly heeding the voice of his word the voice of his word yes so we when we declare the word of god yes we give the angels something to do yes mm -hmm. and and many times again the, if there's a situation and there's something that comes along that 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 uh we see a, a revelation in it we see and it's in agreement with the word we find a scripture that's in agreement mm -hmm. we can declare that and it actually will make a difference it may build a wall that's a right. hedge uh, stand in the gap. It may keep. Yes. The, it may stay the hand of God. It may 
prevent the enemy from destroying someone's exactly. life. Exactly. Because God has given us a revelation. We just declare the word of God. You know, God loves them. God, God right. is intervening. There's things going on. And the angels will act on that word yes. because it's from the heart of God. They recognize it. Exactly. Right, and they act on it. Praise Judy, God. Yeah. Um, uh, I've been hearing since we've been sitting here, when you read that passage from Ezekiel, the Lord uh, really quickened my spirit. I've been hearing uh, the name John. Um, and with that, um, I saw a car, a very fast car. Um, and I feel like the Lord is saying to John, John, you need, as you are in your car and you are driving places, you need to be interceding. You need to be building that wall yes. for your own life and for the lives of the of the people around you, for 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 all of our lives, because there have to be some changes. There just have to be. And John, I I don't know you, but I do think that the car is significant. As you are in your car, be interceding. Be be asking the Lord what it is that He wants you to to pray about. Yes. You know, I I just I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. There's so. um. Actually, when we were on the way up here, um, I, he I heard the name Jennifer, mm -hmm. and I asked the Lord about uh, Jennifer, and right now, I feel like the Lord is saying, Jennifer, you knew the Lord, you've known the Lord, but you've walked away from Him, and you're in a really difficult place right now, and you don't believe that you can come back, but you can. You've yes, never yes, gone too yes, far, yes, and yes. There, there, actually, before when you knew the Lord, you, had an, you knew that you had an incredible call of God on your life, and the enemy came along, tripped you up. And now you think it's all lost. It's all. It's never going to come to pass. But the Lord is waiting on you. All you have to do is say yes. yes all you right. have to yes. do is come back. Yes. It's just like the prodigal Hallelujah. son. He's waiting there yes. with open Hallelujah. arms. You don't. You can't fix yourself. You. Mm. you, all you he can. He's the one who turns things around. Yes. Right. All we have to do is say yes Amen. and give him that opportunity. That's right. Um, That's we right. have two minutes left. I want to make a couple of statements and then I want to pray. Um, there's two statements that were made in this book. Your mouth is like a river of revelation. Mm -hmm. Our mouth. The most invincible army is inside our mouth. Wow. wow. Yes. What we declare. Yes. So we have one minute. I want to pray. Okay. Father God, we thank yes. you so much. Lord, we thank you for these that you have spoken words to, Lord, and we yes, know that Father. there's many more. And God, that you love them so very much. I pray, yes, Father God. God that, that there will be an awareness that you are in everything around us, Lord yes, God, Father. and that there will, that our eyes will be open and our ears will be open yes, and our Father. hearts will be open to receive a uh, revelation about you, you and who you are and your yes, love and, yes. and, and things that are going on. Father, yes. we just, we thank you, Father. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Yes, we thank Lord. you, Father yes, God, Lord. Yes, that Lord. you, your intention yes. is to bless. Your intention is to bring us to that place of destiny and yes, to fulfill Lord. everything that you've written down for each of our lives. Yes, so Lord. today we bless you. We bless those who are watching and we pray, God, that you will seal this word in our hearts and just yes, give Lord. us more and more time yes, to have revelation from it. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in.